Hello, my name is Lauren Izo, and we are on record. This thermal imaging sensor device will soon help U.S. Marines see at night. Elbit Systems of America recently showcased its latest night vision tech at the SHOT Show exhibition in Las Vegas. Elbit is one of two companies awarded a contract to provide the technology for the U.S. Army's enhanced night vision goggles binocular program. Very excited to win this. Uh, all the close combat troops in the Marine Corps are going to be getting this goggle. Uh, we've already gotten our first delivery orders on it, so over the next uh, few months we'll start delivering this goggle to the U.S. Marine Corps. A new mobile Air Force simulation system is allowing pilots to train effectively for electronic warfare. Elbit's new airborne EW training and simulation system incorporates a range of transmitters and sensors to enable conducting airborne training in a real-life, multi-threat electronic warfare arena. The Netherlands is beefing up its smart soldier systems. The Dutch Ministry of Defense placed a follow-on contract for Elbit Systems soldier equipment as part of its VOSS program. That includes E-Lynx radio systems, Raptor wearable units, as well as vehicle systems. In Germany, electronic warfare technology by Elbit Systems will be incorporated into the German Air Force CH-53 helicopters. That gear includes digital radar warning receivers and EW controllers, which detect and locate enemy threats. MD Helicopters announced they have selected Universal Avionics in-site display system. During a presentation at the recent Heli Expo helicopter exhibition in Anaheim, California, Universal Avionics also announced they will implement their SkyViz helmet mounted display system for the German Federal Police new H215 helicopters. More countries in the Asia Pacific region are equipping planes with laser anti missile technology. Elbit Systems recently secured new contracts in the area for Airbus and Boeing aircraft worth $136 million for the Durkham Laser System, part of the company's music family. In South Korea, fighter jets will be equipped with a new system to help pilots fly in harsh conditions. Hanwha Systems has contracted Elbit Systems to equip the country's next generation fighter jets with a terrain following terrain avoidance system. It enables fighter jets to maneuver safely at low altitudes in zero visibility and harsh weather conditions. The Hermes 900 drone will be used in a maritime demonstration by the British Coast Guard. The UK Maritime and Coast Guard Agency will conduct flights using the Hermes 900 unmanned aerial system. Martin Fawcett, CEO of Elbit Systems UK, said he was proud to partner with the MCA on this demonstration of unmanned capabilities. And finally, teams from Elbit Systems participated in two international exhibitions this month in India and Singapore. At Def Expo India, Elbit reinforced its strong partnership with the Indian defense industry and presented several joint projects with some of its partners in the country. The company also participated in the Singapore Air Show this month, presenting its precise guided munitions and marking the 10th anniversary of the Hermes 900. I'm Lauren Izo. Until next time, thanks for watching.